Hi, this is Tim with PDI Technical Support. In this video, I'd like to discuss the power supplies. PDI has a range of power supplies. These power supplies are designed for low voltage TV sets. We have individual power supplies, and we have what's considered a 10 bed power supply, and that will power up to 10 television TV sets. The PDI power supplies are designed to power a television and put signal on a particular, or I should say, a one coax cable. The power supply combines 28 volts AC with the RF signal from either an antenna system or a cable TV system. Puts it onto the cable. The TV set itself, when it receives that, separates the two, the RF from the AC, to the proper circuits in the television set. The individual power supplies have an AC cord attached to them to plug into a 120 volt outlet. These are designed just to power one TV set. It has a wall mount attached to it for arm to fit in it. Now one of our uh, individual power supplies does not have any kind of a hole to mount an arm. It is strictly just a power supply. Many times this power supply is just used for maybe bench testing uh, of TV sets, things like that. These other two that I have here in front of me are designed to support and supply power to an arm mounted TV set. The 772HE can be mounted just about anywhere. Many times hospitals will have this mounted in an electrical closet. Most of the times I'm in hospitals, I see plywood mounted on the wall and this mounted on the plywood, just like an electrical panel. That's probably the best place to put these things. It's out of the way and out of sight of anybody tampering with. It has 10 circuit breakers on it. So if any individual TV set has a problem, only that breaker will be tripped. The rest of the TV sets will still function as normal. The 772HE power supply has one RF input and 10 RF AC outputs. Depending on the signal strength, you may need an amplifier to boost the signal to get the proper signal strength to each TV set. That's going to depend on how much signal strength the cable company is providing you um, where you have this power supply mounted. The easiest way to troubleshoot these is to take the entire arm and TV out of the wall mount and place it in a different location. If you have problems with the power supply, Many times it's just the circuit breaker is blown. What will happen is the TV set will have no power. Now, you can, if the installation is done correctly, you can go to this power supply and it should be marked on there as far as which location that TV is, which circuit breaker it's on. You should just be able to pull the circuit breaker out and play, place a new one in its place and you should be fine. If you have an arm problem, an arm problem, there's a cable in the arm it can also cause the circuit breaker to blow. Remember, just because you have a blown circuit breaker doesn't necessarily mean the TV set is defective. You also have a cable in the arm that could be kinked, smashed, or who knows what. So it's important that you check, and just don't assume it's the TV set, but check the arm and the TV set. A major problem I see in the field is too long of a cable run. These power supplies are designed to run up to 150 foot of RG6 solid copper center conductor cable. Any longer run than that and the TV set may or may not function. There's just too much voltage drop in the line. The other thing I see a uh, mistake that's made with these is the kind of cable that's used. It's very important to use the proper cable. It is very important not to use a copper clad steel cable. The copper clad steel has too much resistance in it and the TV set will not even function in just a short distance. Please read the instruction manual that comes with this power supply. PDI does provide specifications for cable lengths and type of cable uh, which are very important. You don't want to have to go back and rip out all the cable and restring it again uh, by putting in the wrong kind of cable or too long of a cable. So please, it's very important that you read the instruction manual. If you're confused in the manual, please contact PDI's technical support and they, shall, they will assist you with any kind of problem you're having with this. Thank you for watching this tutorial and please check back on PDI's website for any future videos about PDI products.